Volkswagen is back in the World Rally Championships again after many years, and it seems they may even drive off with the top prize. With this VW Polo RWRC, normal drivers can feel like they're in the race too. Test driver Sascha Knapp is showing us the street version of the Polo RWRC and it's just as important as the rally car itself. WRC rules stipulate that 30,000 cars of a type need to be sold before a racing version can be built. And to use the racing version in a rally, you need a similar version that's approved for the street. This car is the result. It's the VW Polo RWRC. With 162 kilowatts of power and 350 newton meters of torque, it's a little bit gentler than the rally car, but it's still got plenty of go. So, first you get the street vehicle, then the rally car. Another interesting detail is that Volkswagen designers draft the GTI and R models first. Then they base designs for the standard streetcar on those to ensure mass market appeal. Up until now, VW's biggest rally success came at the Rally World Championship in 1986. The car was a near-series Golf 2 GTI. Kenneth Erickson and Peter Dickman were the winning drivers. But let's get back to the present and the VW Polo RWRC. Sasha says that unlike the rally version's 1.6-litre engine, the streetcar has a 2-litre four-cylinder gasoline engine that will rocket it to 100 in 6.4 seconds. It doesn't crank out the 232 kilowatts that the rally polo does, but it's more powerful than the GTI with a top speed of 243 kmh. An incredible 350 newton meters of torque puts it 100 newton meters ahead of the Polo GTI, meaning it's one second faster in the sprint. <music> Nevertheless, the rally car still leaves the street Polo in the dust. It can bang up to 100 in 3.9 seconds. But when it comes to top speed, the street version surpasses the rally car by 43 kmh. To be honest, for sure it's a lot of differences because uh, one is made completely for the race and one is for the normal road for every day, but uh, I tried quickly this one and uh, this one is also a really powerful car, 220 power horse on such a small polo. is. Uh, you feel that it's uh, worked quite well and uh, for the rest, for sure, uh, the chassis is much better on my race car because much more precise and, uh, and more reactive, but that's, that's really made for race. And the differences don't stop there. You can see the two polos are worlds apart. The engine, drivetrain, chassis and much more were changed to make the rally car. There's good reason for that. Mechanics need to be able to change a transmission in minutes or overhaul the entire car in just four hours. The similarity between the two is kind of hard to see under the racing decals. share is bodywork. They have similar doors, hood and hatch. The number on the rear spoiler tells you which vehicle you're looking at and that it's part of a limited edition of 2,500 units. A basic coat of white paint with blue-green stripes and rally-style bumpers give the street polo a track feel. A special sports chassis brings the body closer to the road and improves stability in turns. It's time to go racing in the streets. Looking at the interior, the multifunction sports steering wheel stands out. 
The feel of the black Alcantara leather makes drivers never want to let go. The bucket seats are rally style and keep driver and passenger where they belong. The center console is done in grey Alcantara. It's easy to use as usual and combines fun with function. Our test driver says he loved testing the street version of the VW Polo RWRC in Finland, but money's a consideration too. It's not exactly a bargain at 33,900 euros, and you've got to be really lucky to pick up one of the 2,500 units in the edition. Well, after winning the Finnish event, the ninth of 13 World Championship races in the series, it looked as if VW and their driver, Sebastian Auger, were almost a shoe in, but they're not there yet. The next attempt he and his polo will make for the rally crown is in Australia.